guess what day it is? Welcome back to yet another episode of Two Minute Tuesday. So good to have you here. Today we're talking about how to make your footage glitch and tweak and just kind of jitter all over the place without having to use plugins or buy anything extra or even really use any effects within Premiere. This is pretty makeshift and, and ghetto if you will, but it does the job and it looks good and you'll have it down in the next, uh, I don't know, two and a half minutes. So with that being said, two minutes on the clock, let's go. All right, so once you have the footage that you want to glitch out, go ahead, hit C on your keyboard, grab that blade cut, and cut some frames. Doesn't matter, you can do however many you want. But the key here is to make a few so that we can delete every other frame to make kind of like a strobe effect. So make it scattered and sporadic. We'll add an extra one here. So we got a chunk of two. Perfect. There we go. Now it kind of looks like a strobe effect, and that's the beginning of our glitch. So copy one of those frames, hold down Alt on your keyboard, and drag it above on the next track. And then what we're gonna do is go over to effect controls for that frame, drop the opacity a little bit, and then we're gonna slide that frame over so it kind of makes like a second body, which looks kind of like a glitch effect. But that's only one frame, so we need to do it again. So we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this one. Same thing, drop the opacity, slide that over. You can go left, right, whatever you want. Let's make that frame a little bigger. And then you can open up the Lumetri tab and mess around with the saturation, maybe the highlights and contrast and exposure. Just mess around with it so it looks kind of like something's being glitched, like an RGB split. Now, if you actually wanna do the RGB split technique, you can copy another frame over and then go into the effects tab and look for something called arithmetic. You're gonna grab that and you're gonna apply it to the frame and that's gonna give you your red, green, and blue separation channels. So change this operator over to max. Let's drag the red value to 255, but we need to change that blending mode to linear dodge add. And then when we move that over, you're gonna see that red channel staying the same. Next thing to do is add sound. Drag that onto your timeline and then just trim it down to fit the specific spot where you've glitched out those frames. Drop that down a little bit, turn that up so we can hear it. And you're done. It took no time at all. So that's it for me, guys. Hope you liked this video. Hope you got something out of it. Start glitching out your footage. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you aren't already. And, and we'll see you guys next week. Subscribe.